Hi, I'm Tony Schrader, Chairman of the Putnam County Republican Party. Here in the beautiful Putnam County Library, that explains the backdrop behind us here. The children's room thing is not for me, it is actually for children to go read in. So I think it's, uh, but it, this turned out to be a good spot for us to get together. We're here with our good friend Roy Ploffenstein. I uh, was thinking before we came over here this morning that much like people used to call uh, the Coach Krzyzewski down in North Carolina, Coach K, we're just going to call you Rep K after you win this election, if that's all right with you. Make well, that will probably work, and I would answer to it. Actually, a lot of folks just call me Klopp. Oh, there you go. You know, so like e that. either one will work. And Rep, Rep Klopp's got a little bit of a ring to it. Even. That's, that's true. <laughs> and I'll, I'll even answer to Hey You. <laughs> so That sounds like me as well. So it's good to get together with you this morning. We wanted to do a follow-up video, the first way and done. Uh, talk a little bit about um, some exciting news for you during the course of the last month or so yes. and some of the endorsements that you've gained. And we've talked a bit, you know, uh, people see endorsements uh, with candidates all the time, but what it means, especially in races like yours, uh, is that you've got the backing of coalition interest groups, that is groups that, uh, that are um, working on accomplishing conservative goals. And so we wanted to talk a little bit about some of those today. I was super excited to see one of the biggest ones I think in this cycle was that you've been endorsed by the Ohio Right to Life PAC. Um, tell us a little bit about your pro-life stance, your background, and the reason why you got that endorsement. You know, it's one of those things that uh, is the most frequently asked question when I'm on the campaign trail. Mm -hmm. So it's very important to people. And I think the reason it's important is family is important. Right. Family mm -hmm. is huge. And the most innocent of that family is the infant. Exactly. And people want to protect the infant. Mm -hmm. They're not against women's rights. Right. They're not against people's rights. But they are wanting to protect those that can't protect themselves, exactly. and that's the infant. Exactly right. And, and in particular, in light of uh, Roe v. Wade being struck down by the Ohio Supreme Court, or excuse me, the U.S. Supreme Court, uh, cases involving abortion going forward are going to be handled at the state level. And uh, I think it's important for people to know where, the, where their representatives stand. Yeah, and, the, and you know, Roe versus Wade was turned over because it was bad law. Right. And it was bad law from the standpoint, it took away what was a state's right. Exactly. And in the, in the purest sense, it wasn't even about abortion, it was about state's rights. Mm -hmm. But now that that is bad laws out of the way, now we can deal with the issue at the state level and uh, Ohio being a conservative state, the 82nd district being conservative, uh, we have to rejoice that we're headed in the right direction, direction and going to protect the life of the innocent. I think it's phenomenal and it's it's good to know and one of the reasons we wanted to mention that uh, specifically was to let people in the 82nd district know exactly where you stand yes. on that key issue. Yes. Uh, the second one that we hear often and in fact there's been a lot of legislation about it here in Ohio this year is, has been on the Second Amendment and on gun rights. Uh, I'm an NRA Life member. I was glad to see that you've been, you would receive the endorsement of the uh, National Rifle Association. You know, I don't know how uh, the Constitution and our Bill of Rights, how something so simple can be so messed up. <laughs> it says we have the right to keep and bear arms. Yep. It doesn't say according to, according to, because of, and all these other rules right. that they want to make. It's pretty simple. Mm -hmm. We have the right to keep and bear arms. It shall not be infringed right there in the amendment. With that comes responsibility. Yeah, of course. But as a conservative and as Ohio 82nd District, we have responsible people. I trust them mm -hmm. to properly store their guns and do everything else they need to. Right. But to me, it is so simple. Mm -hmm. Uh, how have we got it so messed up? Yeah, that's just it. I, it. It seems like you could just read what they wrote down, right? So, it seems like, <laughs> yeah, it like that. Would be a, a pretty basic one. So, And, and, and it's not about uh, you know protecting the hunter. Hunters have rights. All these folks have rights and collectors have rights. Uh, but it's pretty simple that you look at the governments that don't have this opportunity right. to keep arms mm -hmm. and we have a, a government out of control right well and at the time of the founding the founders saw that as being exactly a threat, right and it's why it's right there in the constitution um, those two more on social issues but you've also received the endorsement of the national federation of Inde independent business works with small businesses all across the united states you know nfib is a group that uh, we have been a member of since 1985 mm -hmm. and we've been a member because we're a small business uh the things they represent at the state level are critically important, at the federal level are critically important to protecting small business, which small business is a backbone of Ohio. Right. Uh, between small business and agriculture could be called small business. It's not, it's big business. Right. But 
they represent us mm -hmm. and, and push back against uh, mandates and all the other things that are anti-business. Right. And in the simplest of terms, once you're against business, it's bad for families. And we need to have the Pure best environment we can for right. our families. Well, and especially uh, in ag, uh, you've seen so much encroachment, uh, especially at the federal level, in terms of regulations associated with the EPA and everything else, that um, having a defender, a group that defends small business uh, at that level is important, and having representatives in the legislature that understand small yeah. business is absolutely critical. And you know, when we have a healthy small business uh, here in our district or here across Ohio, Ohio is going to have a healthy and a good business exactly environment, right. and, and we need to do what we can to not only retain the businesses we have, mm -hmm. but to attract new ones. Yeah. And, and part of what they do is uh, make those healthy small businesses. Fantastic. Well, and then the last one I wanted to bring up specifically to residents here in Putnam County, you received the endorsement of the Putnam County Commissioners. Uh, unanimous endorsement, and um, that's not easy county to county. You commissioners argue sometimes, so uh, I was pretty excited to see that. Actually, I don't know that I've ever had an <laughs> argument with the Putnam County Commissioners, uh, maybe over buying lunch. But, that could uh, be it, yeah. You know, I'm, I, I'm willing to maybe concede there right. and let them buy. But, sure, there you go. Uh, you know, uh, Pauling is in the middle of the 82nd District, mm -hmm. so we have the privilege of working with Van Wert, Defiance, and Putnam County mm -hmm. Commissioners on a number of issues, and they deal with the same issues that we deal with. Mm -hmm. Uh, maybe in a different role, different light, you know, but we all are on the same page when it comes to making our job easier. And commissioners are not legislators. Some people don't understand that. Right. And we abide by the rules in Columbus. Mm -hmm. the, what they ship out is what we, we deal with. So that experience of being a commissioner and that experience of working with other, other elected officials gives me a tremendous base or right. a tremendous advantage of working in Columbus. Mm -hmm. I got great resources to call back and uh, all the commissioners, not only the Putnam County commissioners, are very well uh, versed at telling me what they want. I should say, none of them are afraid to tell you none what of you them are here, so that's a beautiful thing. But I mean, you can't beat that in terms of a resource. You don't have to wonder no. what, how a county is going to handle a given issue that you're dealing with in the state house. You've been there and you know a lot of other people who have been there. And yeah, and, and one of the advantages is I don't know everything. Mm -hmm. And you have to have the people in the background or the people that you can call on that will tell you, here's the facts, right. here's what's happening, here's what we need. And do it in a way that they know government can accomplish a goal. Right. You know, you, you take special interest groups or, or someone that is very vocal Sometimes that's not how you need to accomplish things. You and, and we've got that network between the commissioners and the other elected officials to mm -hmm. accomplish the goals that makes 82nd District a great place that's or even a greater place. Exactly right. I think that's great. And, uh, and certainly you've earned that endorsement. So I think that's phenomenal. Uh, moving on just a minute and then we'll, uh, we'll let the folks go. Um, we've been all over the campaign trail, uh, you and I both, but I've seen you just about everywhere. I imagine your calendar's got something just about every night. Yeah. Um, but uh, it's it's happening, isn't it? Uh, it's, it's time. The election's it's underway. Um, uh, early voting's been going on since uh, July the 6th. Uh, absentee balloting is uh, fully underway. Uh, the folks can go to their local county boards of elections to cast ballots already. Right. Uh, so your there's there's three offices on the Putnam County ballot, and I think on most of them in your mm -hmm. district is gonna be that way. Uh, Senator McCauley's up for re-election and is right. unopposed. Uh, the your race in the eighty second district and the state central committee race. So um, folks can go in there. They can look for um, you know the Coach K analogy I gave earlier. And pick out that <laughs> Koppenstein guy. Uh, but that's happening right now. So uh, any other events, any other uh, campaign activities you're going to be doing here, or are you running it all the way through the tape? I'm guessing. We're, so. we're going down to the uh, probably the night of this August second, and and we encourage people. We're a representative democracy. It's your duty, it's our duty to be responsible, educate ourselves, and get out and vote. Mm -hmm. And if we don't, we're going to settle for something less than what's good for our district. Exactly. And we're going to settle something that's not what our families, what's good for our families. Right. Well, and, and, and particularly in a lower turnout environment that we're looking at in a, a very unusual second primary election, um, every vote carries that much more weight. Uh, it, it does. It, it's critical. You know, every election is important. And, and we like to think that 
the most current one is the most important. Right. But the simple fact is they're all important. And if we don't do our duty, even on one election, there gets to be a problem. Okay. And, and I encourage voters, get out, educate yourself. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, you can take my word for it. I hope you, uh, I've earned your trust, but if I haven't, I will. And educate yourself and get out and vote. You know, that's a good point. Uh, if folks want to find out more about your campaign and about you, where can they find you online? RoyKloffenstein.com is my web page and Kloffenstein for Ohio is the Facebook page and go there. We try to make regular postings and keep people informed. You can see the endorsements on my web page and some other information, but uh, go there and, and educate yourself. And if you've got questions, my uh, contact information is there. Yeah, I can tell you he's easy to get a hold of. So that's a, that's a real plus. And I'm quite sure he's gonna to continue to do that if you're successful uh, on, uh, on August 2nd. Well, the so. bottom line is I work for you. Yeah. You know, that's that's, that's fantastic. Roy, it's good seeing you today. Thanks for coming. Thank you, Doug. All right. We'll see you next time.